Hi, I'm Heath McGowan. I'm one of the anatomy lecturing staff at Bandura, and I endorse this clipboard product. This is a short presentation on the anterior compartment of the leg. So the muscles of the leg are divided into three compartments. Here we have the anterior compartment. Please cross the ankle joint anteriorly and therefore produce dorsiflexion. A cross section through the leg we have the tibia and the fibula running between the two an interosseous or between bone membrane. The area anterior to this is known as the anterior compartment. The anterior compartment is home to the dorsiflexes and dorsiflexion is known as true extension. The boundaries of the anterior compartment are deep fascia, the interosseous membrane posteriorly, the anterior intermuscular septum laterally, and the bones, the tibia and the fibula. The common action of the anterior compartment is dorsiflexion, which is true extension. The anterior compartment gets its blood supply from the anterior tibial artery and is innervated by the deep perineal nerve. The muscles in the anterior compartment, we have the tibialis anterior, we think of the bone in the leg, it's called the tibia. So most anterior, just next to the tibia, we have the tibialis anterior. Next we have extensor hallucis longus. Now the big toe is called hallux, so we call the extensor muscle, or the long one, extensor hallucis longus. Moving laterally again, we have extensor digitorum longus, and this works to extend the digits except the big toe. Most laterally, we have fibularis tertius. Fibularis, we think the bone fibula. Some people call this perineus tertius, but they are used interchangeably. Looking at a cross section through the middle third of the leg, we have right next to the tibia, anterior, tibialis anterior. Next we have extensor hallucis longus, followed by extensor digitorum longus. And when you look down at your foot, that's the order that we'd expect them to go in. We have right next to the tibia, our tibialis anterior. Then you have a look. What's medial? We have our big toe, so we'd expect extensor hallucis longus next. And then extensor digitorum longus more laterally. Even more laterally, we'd expect our perineus tertius or fibularis tertius muscle, but it's quite distal on the leg and obviously won't be in a cross section of the middle third of the leg. We have a neurovascular bundle in the anterior compartment and its boundaries are the deep fascia, tibia, fibula, that anterior intermuscular septum, and that is interosseous membrane. Bearing in mind that structures which cross the ankle joint or talocrural joint posteriorly will cause plantar flexion, which is true flexion, while tendons running anterior to the ankle joint will cause dorsiflexion or true extension, as well as structures or tendons which cross the subtalar joint laterally will cause pronation while structures which cross the subtalar joint medially will result in 
supination, as well as the fact that tendons which attach to the plantar surface of the digits will cause flexion, while tendons which attach to the dorsum of the digits will cause extension. Please fill in the following table with the major joints crossed by all the muscles in the anterior compartment of the leg. Remember to put the position relative to the joint as this tells us what action the muscle will have at any particular joint.